when people was telling me he fast and stuff, I'm like, him? Then I seen him be electric on the track. I'm like, wow, that's, and he, go to, he going to this school? He's fast. He's, he's definitely fast. He, and the way he runs, it, it's, it's so natural. And it, it seems like he's not putting forth any effort. I'm pretty fast. <laughs> Fort Ben Austin's Chi Ike speed is almost as electric as his laugh. <laughs> Fun loving, always smiling, has a big smile. Um, just a person who really enjoys life, athletics, and just having fun. Ike has a unique perspective on life because eight years ago, he almost lost his. He spent part of his childhood growing up in Africa. In 2014, while visiting family in Nigeria, he was playing with friends when he touched an open wire where he electrocuted himself. The electricity went through my whole body. It went, it went through my arms, through this arm and everything. They said I passed out and I didn't woke up for a very long time. And when I did, I didn't feel anything. The doctors told me that the hand has to be caught. So I started crying. I was scared, I was shocked, I was, because I didn't know what to believe or say. All the doctors came, examined him, and they said, thank God this did not affect any other part of the body. It also didn't affect his mindset either. After undergoing seven surgeries and six months of rehab, Ike worked his way back, participating in both football Say, go. Nice. and track. His disability won't stop him. It will not stop him. He's going to continue to compete, continue to grind, continue to do whatever it takes to get to that next level. I noticed in him, his spirit, he rejected the disability. I just wanted to prove to myself that I can do things that people with two hands can do. And he did. I qualified for state regionals in multiple events and even made his debut on the varsity football team as a sophomore. That obstacles don't stop him. I believe with his disability that he's had to overcome a lot of things throughout the years, and so it's now it's just second nature. Whatever it is, he'll figure out a way to get it done. The young man filled with life and laughter <laughs> is turning his pain into a purpose. I don't do this for me. I do this for people who are disabled, just like me, to just say like, hey, it doesn't matter if you're disabled or not, you can do whatever you want. If you just put your mind towards it, you can do anything. So that's my biggest goal. <laughs>